Now, boys and girls, if it would stop raining, we could actually take Big Richard outside for a ride. Let's hope the rain stops here. mess this truck left behind in my you know practically new garage floor oh boy well we'll get this cleaned up and pull the ranger in here and get it all good again 
Okay, well, for the first trip out, hey, went about as is expected, made it around the block, nothing fell off, nothing caught on fire, but <laughs> um, it did have a couple things. The smoke you seen when, when I was pulling in, there's, for one, I have a valve cover leak, and that was the majority of the smoke, and I also have a little bit of a, like a trans fluid cooler leak. I'll, I'll show you, I got it up in the air so I can show you. But other than that, everything looks good. Um, you know, didn't overheat, held oil pressure, ran the whole time was obviously a little bit low on transmission fluid. That's why it was a little bit high RPM, but that's okay. That's, you know, like the easiest fix in the world. So I got it on the other side of the shop up on the rack so I can get underneath this thing and see everything that I've done laying on my back and, you know, fix all that. And I need to, the main reason is I need to the taillights on the truck don't work. There's no power back there. There's no power to the wires. So I basically have to rerun four new wires for the brake, brake lights, turn signals, and backup lights all the way from the cab all the way to the back. And it's a lot easier when it's up in the air than laying on your back. That's the main reason for that. Other than that, a couple, you know, nut and bolt checks and things like that. Recheck the alignment. Make sure I got cotter pins and everything. Grease everything up real good and maybe put the door back on, but... But let me take you underneath and we'll show you what that looks like. First of all, here's the rear wiring for the tail lights. It's all like crap wires and scotch locks and, you know, wires twisted together. It's just a mess. So this is all going to get ripped out. It's all going to get a new, I can rerun four wires from the cab back here and then we'll have tail lights and everything will be cool. Everything in the rats, yeah, everything in the, Back of the truck did their jobs. The brakes worked. Looks like there's nothing leaking there. That rear diff leak is from previous before we resealed it. And as you can see, it still needs some dirt daubers knocked off of it. And the drive shaft is still here. All the cups and everything is nice and tight. Exhaust is still on. That didn't fall off. You know, considering I made it myself, hey, that's pretty good. But everything back to here looks okay. We come up here a little further. Everything still looks pretty good. You can see where this, you know, this wiring is just jacked. So we're gonna, again, run a new harness to the back. And you can see the crusty rockers, but that's what you're gonna get with a car that sat in the swamp. Now, like I said, trans did good. Looks like the rear diff seal's holding. That's nice. A couple little, little drips from the trans, but that's mostly from this. And this is part of the smoke also. This little smoke trail looks like this trans line here is just weeping a little bit. We'll get that under control and I'll take care of that. But, um, looks good. Nothing leaking from the motor, nothing leaking from the radiator, nothing leaking from the fuel system. So overall, pretty good. So that's gonna do it for today, boys and girls. Big Richard lives, he's up on the rack. He's gonna get more attention. And we're going to move forward with this truck. It's going to be great. And now, thanks everyone for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Questions, comments, concerns, type away below. Love to see your comments. You know, I respond to all of them. And uh, check out the merch. I know I'm not wearing the Big Richard shirt because I got all dirty today. But check out the Big Richard merch. Help a guy out. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.